Hey everybody, my name is Bobby Borg, and I'm the author of this new book, Music Marketing for the DIY Musician. It's published by Helen Books, and I'm hanging out with Ray. Say hi, Ray. Hello. Um, Ray is uh, an artist, a very talented artist, and also one of my students that just went through the class with me, and she's going to ask me some, some questions that essentially are going to highlight the chapter. So we're going to take actually just a couple key points from each chapter. Um, just to kind of give you an idea about what the book is about and provide you some ideas and tools that I think will be able to further your career. So definitely hang out. We're going to do about, uh, I don't know, six or seven of these things. So <laughs> sound good? All right. Hang on. Thanks, guys. Why don't you tell us first a little bit about creating your vision statement and everything that needs to include? Okay. Um, vision is the first, obviously, step in the marketing process. Uh, essentially what it is, is it's, it's, it's really looking deep down inside and asking yourself precisely what it is that you're trying to achieve in the future. So you are here right now, where would you like to be five to seven years from now? And the idea behind that is to really get a good sense for what it is that you stand for and where it is that you're going, simply because once that is clear, Finding the direction and the path to get there is that much more easy. Right. Is this something that should be very detailed and long or a little bit shorter, kind of get to the point overview? Yeah, just a very, very short, you know, paragraph. This is something that, again, you will include in your marketing plan so that, you know, it helps to internalize for yourself where it is you're going, but also for somebody reading the marketing plan as well. They'll be able to kind of sit down and go, okay, I understand where it is they're trying to do. Right. What are some of the main things to make sure to include in this? You might talk about, for example, your the genre that you might go after. You might talk a little bit about some of the products and services that you're going to put out there. You might talk about the general brand that you would like to impart onto the world, and and you know and you know make it really clear about what it is that you're going to stand for. Right. Cool. So then the other things are going to be like your SWOT analysis and your branding. That's all going to be included as well, right? Yep, that's right. So after this, once we have our, our vision sort of in place, now other parts of the marketing process come in. Your SWOT analysis, customer analysis, competitor analysis, etc. testing and feedback. So there's going to be a lot more, many steps to follow after this. Right. But vision is definitely where it all starts. It's all about really standing for something. Otherwise, you potentially can fall for anything. Right. So. Perfect.